It's another day for scouts on the Pro Farmer Crop Tour. This time, they're taking yield samples in South Central and Southeastern Nebraska. It's year one for some. This is my first year. That's okay. While others are veteran scouts. I believe my 20th year, so I'm no longer a teenager. But each able to say how Nebraska really looks. Our route has been south of Hastings, Nebraska, and it is some of the most productive soils in the United States, especially when they can put water on it. When you get off of that plateau, I'll call it, and uh, into the hills where the water irrigation isn't there and the soil changes, it goes off pretty fast. These two travel through Hall, Adams, and Webster counties. Some dry land samples along this route in those counties range from 144 to 172.7 bushels That's per acre. Over there. It's got some green. Lean and bad, huh? South. For irrigated, <laughs> that range was 172 to 256 I mean, bushels per acre. This, this they saw corn like this. This is corn on corn no-till. And it looks awesome. In some fields with issues. Oh dear. That will be fun to count. Parts weather related as the area looks drier east. Cool. Yeah, it's other than the wind damage. I mean, some of it's going to be a nightmare to harvest. As Roberts, Four, who lives in northeast Nebraska, eight. says there are differences with dry land corn in this area. But like I say, we're on the edge. <laughs> and it always just seems like it changes from that Platte River south. And it either goes good or bad. For soybeans, pods are filling out. Seven pods right there, eight, eight, ten if you count from my finger up. But there are weather factors too. Right here, this. Wow. That is a hail bruise. The beans really need a drink if they're in dry land of any kind. A look at Nebraska as scouts continue down the road to the next state. I'm Betsy Jevin with Ag Market Consulting, reporting for agmarket.net.